if you want to see all the one all the one hundreds of videos I made for you you go to genesispc.com click on the videos on YouTube and you will see that I have something about Excel in general, about Excel VBA, about Access in general, Access VBA and VB script. And you will see an enormous listing of videos that you can just click on and train yourself to become a professional. Monte Carlo simulations are very powerful. In this case I have a very simple situation that we want to simulate. Let's say we have a jury selection and we have a pool of 100 candidates. We need 24 candidates. But we have at least three conditions. That they don't have an opinion about the case yet. And in the regular population the chance is 40%. That they have not witnessed a murder before. Which is in the general population 30% or whatever value you want and that they uh, are willing to apply the death penalty if needed in this case and that is 60% of the population. We can change these values. Whatever is in the gray cells are formulas. But again, if we want to make all three cases plus, then I have only one candidate here and in total when I sum this column we have seven but we need 24 candidates. So we are going to use the very powerful data table. We are going to run the left part of this section several times. We do it for 200 candidates, 300, etc., etc. And that works great. It works very quickly. Each time I press F9, it reruns that situation. And I made these cells a different color because in that situation I go over 24. So if I run a pool of 400 candidates I will probably find 26. But as you know results may vary. This is randomness. So sometimes we get different results and that would not be good enough. But that's the way it is. So how did we set up this situation? You, you, you want to learn how to do this for you mean probably never need this specific situation so I made a book that has all kinds of examples 80 different kind of simulations they give you ideas of how to do things and that can be in genetics in statistics in gambling in financial situations in growth situations and more specifically Monte Carlo simulations so uh, what are the settings in this case First of all, you have to realize that we have to do this for 100 candidates. But in order to do so, you have to make sure that you can do it for 1000 candidates. But if it's very low, and I'm going to just A105, then you will see that it ends there showing results. But I need results when I run it for 200 candidates cases, 300 cases, etc. So we have formulas in here that do all of this. The first formula is very simple. It says if the row number A1 equals less than or equal to B1, that's the number of candidates we have, absolute, then put in there a text function based on the row number and then the text is juror space zero. That zero stands for the number that is going to be implemented. And then you copy that formula down with a double click and it will do that for all those cases. Then we need something similar here. If the row number A1 equals less than B1, that 100 candidates, if that is the case, then take a random number between zero and one and if that is less than B4, I locked the 4 but not the B, so when I copy it to the right it will C4, E4, D4, etc. Then I put a plus in there, otherwise nothing. And if the row number is not less than 100, then put nothing in there. And we copy that formula downward, and we copy it to the right. 
And then we are going to find out who qualifies to be a juror. They have to have three pluses. So if, count if, B5 through D5 has a plus in it, and if that count if is three, then we want to put a zero, a one in there, otherwise a zero. And then finally we calculate with the sum function how many do we have in E5 through E106. Five cases in this situation. But we need 24. So that pool of 100 candidates was not enough. So we need to run a data table that is going to do this over and over again. The data table is basically very simple. In this case I put in this cell a link to the qualified cell. And then I put in here all the situations I want to cover. 100, a pool of 100, 200, up to 1000. Let's assume that that's enough for this situation. It depends of course on, on these percentages. And then we select that whole range and we put in here, in this section, a data table formula. So how do we do that? We select that range, including what is in there. I am going to delete this part now so you can really see it happen. You include that calculated value so it can rerun that number all the time by going through all of this. And then you go to data, what if analysis, data table, and you say the row input cell, you leave that empty, but the column input cell happens to be that 100 cases. And when you click on OK, it will run all those situations. Each time I press F9, it will rerun again. Okay, that's the situation we want to simulate. So I made also here conditional formatting. So I put in here conditional formatting. If the number to the right is greater than 24, then I want you to be highlighted. I did that already. So I'm just going to manage the rules, otherwise you do new rule and put a formula in there. I did that already. It's this guy. I have another conditional formatting in there. If the formula is formula A1, and it does that for the entire sheet, if that's the case, then give me a gray background color. This one is edit rule. If I5, that is this guy, lock the I, but not the 5, so it will automatically go into 6, 7, 8. If that is the same, is greater than equal to I1, number needed, lock both the column and the row indication, then we give it this format and it will do that automatically. I, I just want you to realize that all of this will work fine if I ever change this into 200 then we will see that there is on that row it will include all these numbers and if I make it 300 it will also include this etc otherwise that will be hidden setting it back to 100 and you will see it does a great job it shows all of this beautifully as I said already, the sky is the limit. This situation may be too specific for you, but this will give you ideas how to do that kind of simulations for your own situation.